All right, now it's time for Simpsons Springfield deep dive. All right, so as soon as we enter Springfield, we got the comic book guy one up there. We got a radioactive man next to the restrooms. On our left, Bumblebee Man's Tacos. I've never tried the tacos here. I really need to one day. We got a Korean beef taco, chicken taco, carne asada taco. They even have Buzz Cola. Up next, we got the Lard Lad Donut. We'll go over that in just a second. Comic book store, Krusty Burger, Lard Lad. All right, so over here at the Lard Lad Donuts, they do have that big pink donut that you see everywhere. It's made specialty by a third party company. So something I didn't know, they also have uh, donuts, but it's duh, oh nuts. <laughs> uh, they also have ice cream, ice cream with uh, waffle cones. So if you're looking for ice cream in Springfield, they got it here too, as well as those big, big donuts. All right, so right now for Krusty Burger, this is not the main entrance. You do have to enter on another area to get in. Cause you get in and when you, when you go in, you're actually going into Krusty Burger, Moe's and um, Cletus's. It's all in one. Over here, we have the statue of Jebediah Springfield, the number one vandalized statue or even building or anything in all of Springfield. And of course over here we got police chief Clancy Wiggum. Looks like he hit a fire hydrant and having a donut and coffee. So a normal day. Pretty normal day for him to be honest. Alright let's actually head into Moe's. It looks like we can actually go in. You enter Moe's there's actually a little photo of the barbershop quartet. The B Sharps I think. And their one hit wonder, Baby on Board. Got the Isotopes, the baseball team from Springfield, a Flaming Mo, Duff. We got a lot in here. Oh, and the Love Tester. Remember that episode? And then, of course, Mo's number one fan, Barney. It looks like they're showing old episodes of The Simpsons just above the bar. I really like that. All right, let's go to the other next. Okay, so inside Moe's Krusty Burger and Cletus's is where all the quick serves are. So it's all one thing. It's kind of a facade on the outside. So we got Lisa's Tea House of Horror. We got Luigi's with some pizza. And then they got the Frying Dutchman with the all you can eat, which not right now, they don't do all you can eat. Homer kind of ruined that. Cletus' Chicken Shack, Krusty Burger, and then a little booth with Flaming Moe's. Oh, and they have Mobile Express Pickup, nice. All right, so going from Moe's, gonna go across the street. They have the Duff Gardens. Here they have some of the Duff characters. It's kind of like the Seven Dwarfs, but for Duff. They got edgy on the left, remorseful in the middle, and then dizzy on the right. So they don't just serve duff over here, they also serve footlong corn dogs, pretzels, slushies, or in this universe, a squishy, and even Buzz Cola. They got some more of these duff characters. We got Tipsy. This is Surly. This is definitely Queasy. That is definitely the face I make when I'm queasy. And then on the very end, I have no idea because there's no placard. Happy, happy? Um, distraught, no. Wildly mediocre, that's what we'll call him. He's wildly mediocre death. All right, so directly across the street, that's where Cletus' chicken shack is, or at least the entrance. But everyone's entering through one entrance, exiting out one exit right now. And then we got the Quickie Mart right over here. Let's go inside the Quickie Mart. All 
All right, so here in the Quickie Mart, they got a lot more than just candy and soda. They have a ton of plush dolls, t-shirts. Ooh, they got Funko Pops. Ooh. They have a Radioactive Man one. I might have to get that one. They got Mr. Burns, Mo Sizzlack, Flyboy Bart from one of the Treehouse of Horrors, Alien Maggie. And got little comic books over here. Oh, they got Santa's little helper, Itchy and Scratchy. Ooh, they have a Krusty Land t-shirt. That's cool. Oh, and a squishy cup. That's pretty cool. They're showing old episodes of Itchy and Scratchy up on top too. I love that. Bunch more t-shirts. They got a towel. They got a pink donut pillow. And then Apu saying, thank you, come again. I like those t-shirts. Oh, that's one of my favorite quotes. You don't make, you don't win friends with Sally. <laughs> Just chilling with stuff, man. About to head over and go on King Kodos, which is open today. It wasn't open before, but now it is. All right, leaving Duff Man behind, we're gonna go over here. This attraction was actually closed for a while and now it's reopened. All right, so this is Kang and Kodos, Twirl and Hurl. This was closed for a while. This is one of the attractions that was marked as a closed attraction for a while, just like the uh, Storm attraction in Marvel. And it's open today on a Saturday, but the hours are different for today. They are open until 9 p.m. So it doesn't surprise me that an attraction like this is open. And since it is open, I'm totally going on it. I did not think this was going to be open at all. I thought it would only be the Simpsons attraction. So I'm going to head in. All right. Time for Kane Kodos, Twirl and Hurl. It's time to destroy Springfield. You will know the ride is ending when your vehicle comes to a complete stop or you have been eaten. I didn't just say that. <laughs> the only way to get out of here is to help us attack Springfield. Aim your craft at your fellow humans. You'll like it. We do. Good job, Tommy. Lousy kid. <laughs> you have to aim your whole thing at a character like Homer or Bart or Nelson or Grandpa. There, I got it. Let me see how high I can go. I want to get the, the Nelson one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Going from Twirl and Hurl across the street. We got the Boardwalk Games, one of my favorites. You can't do it, don't even try. For one of the games. We got Sideshow Bob's Sideshow You. And Help Santa's Little Helper. Aww. Across the way we got a hot dog stand. They also do turkey legs as well. Over here we got the main entrance for the Simpsons ride. We got the whole family out front. And then you walk through Krusty's mouth, of course. Over here we got a couple more boardwalk games. The Sledge Homer. Dunk or Flunk. I Crumbler, I wanna say. Mr. Burns Radioactive <laughs> Ring, uh, Rings, and Whack a Rat. Itchy and scratchy themed boardwalks. Cool. All right. Well, it's time to head into Krusty Land, into the Simpsons ride. It says it's about an hour wait. So here goes nothing. All right. Time to head in through. Krusty's mouth to get in the entrance. Come with me. 
boat, and you can pick one other group to come with you. How about these guys? Uh, sure, whatever. They look clean. You guys, come with me. You stay here and wait for someone to tell you to do something. <laughs> so it looks like because of social distancing, it's just me in here. It's just me. It's just me and Krusty. The wait was only about 25 minutes. It wasn't that bad at all. The wonder and imagination that fuels our park. Hurry, put on these light vests. Is this a nuclear reactor? Oh! What do you know about nuclear energy, kid? Leave that to us clowns. Oh, uh, Mr. Krusty, sir, the reactor is terribly dangerous with the linkages and the crackages. Observe! <laughs> oh, the growing is happening. When the doors open, move immediately into the vehicle boarding station. Walk, don't run. Take your seats in an orderly fashion, and please watch your head as you enter the vehicle. If you have difficulty dealing with small spaces, make the crusty crew member aware of this before entering the vehicle. Once you're... Hey, Krusty, there's nothing you can do! You're about to die! You do look like Krusty! Ah! Oh, my next kid did. I grew up with The Simpsons, so that ride's always a good one to go on for me. All the references, all the little jokes, especially at the very end with the big billboard that says, send money to Universal Studios. <laughs> no line right now over at the crepe stand. I am 100% gonna try the brisket one right now. So unlike Epcot, they actually make the crepe here instead of making a bunch of them and then just warming them up slightly and then putting the filling on it like Epcot does. All right, so here's my brisket crepe that I got from the nice little Central Park crepe stand. The smoked brisket one is amazing. It's delicious. Every bite has at least one blueberry in it. Wow. This is a very, very good dessert crepe. And it's not too heavy either. Lemon blueberry crepe, nine out of 10. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please, don't be frightened. We do not like the way frightened tastes. See you all next time.